Hey, GW coming to you live once again. Hey, guys, I want to tell you about a movie I just watched. It was made in 1983. And it's in the vein of you know, sort of like a Friday the 13th deal where there's a killer. You don't know who, he, who it is. And he's just taking out people left and right. And the movie is called Curtains. And it stars John Vernon, Samantha Sherwood, and Brooke Parsons. And it is a very cool movie, and they don't make them like this anymore, because this is actually, what's the word I'm looking for? It's actually a pretty cool mystery movie wrapped in a sort of a horror movie type shell. And basically, John Vernon is a director called Stryker, and Stryker is going to put on a movie called Audra. And he invites couple of actresses to his house to audition while well, while in the audition process they are taken out one at a time by a killer wearing a hag mask and this film among other things is most remembered for a skating scene midway through the movie there is an ice skating scene in which one of the actresses gets killed and it is a very creepy scene the other thing about the killer is that any time that the killer takes out somebody, he leaves a, or he or she, leaves a doll laying around. It's a pretty creepy thing, you know, when you're walking around and you find a doll, and all of a sudden you get whacked. I mean, it's pretty much a done deal after that. The thing I liked about this film is I just said it's in the vein of Friday the 13th, where you really don't know who the killer is till the very end of the film. And you kind of get the idea that it is one of Stryker's best actresses who in the beginning of the film commits herself to a mental institution. Why? Because she wants to play the part exactly. She wants to become Audra. And apparently Audra is a girl with mental, in mental issues. They talk a little bit about her, but the movie never gets made. Why is that? Well, because... Almost everyone in the cast dies. This film is very underrated and it is very neat. I mean, if you stick with it, you know, it is a little bit of a slow burn deal, but I'm telling you guys, it is actually a pretty decent thriller. I've had the movie, I've had it on a old Blu-ray or an old, not a Blu-ray, an old DVD, and I never actually watched it. So this morning I said, you know what, I'm going to get up and check it out. It's not a bad movie. It was written and directed by Richard Syepka. I think I said that right. And like I said, John Vernon, who plays Stryker in this movie, is very uh, aggressive in the way he directs. This film, too, if you buy the Synapse Blu-ray, the movie, believe it or not, was untouched and unremastered for 30 years. So, when it came out in 83, it was never put on a DVD until much later, or a Blu-ray. But if you're looking for something interesting, you know, definitely check this out. It even surprised me, as slow as the movie can be in the beginning with the setup, some of these slashing murder scenes do pay off. Like I said, that, that skating scene is iconic in the annals of horror history. And it's probably one of the best known sequences in a horror film. The other thing that makes this memorable is, like I said, guys, you really think it's the main actress doing all the killing. But I'm going to just put a little bit of a spoiler out there and say it's not. Definitely give curtains a check up and uh, tell me what you think. The other thing is... The doll in this film, which I just touched on. Very creepy dream sequence in which the doll grabs one of the actress's hands, does not let go. And in the dream, the actress gets hit by a car. Very creepy, very well done. And it really makes you... It's almost like this movie, as soon as you stop paying attention to it, or say, you know, I'm going to go do something while this is on, it snaps you back. You know, there's a few scenes that do that. So definitely look it up. Um, this is what I would call, too, one of these sophisticated horror movies where there's not just kill, 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 
have sex, kill, 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 end conclusion. Um, this is one of those ones that slowly builds on the story and you get to know the actresses a little bit better in this film. The other thing I want to talk about real briefly is the conclusion of this film. This film is neat because the conclusion of the film takes place in a backstage wardrobe type area. And it's just pretty neat to see that. The lighting and everything was really cool. It's a race and chase sort of deal. Um, reminds you a little bit about My Bloody Valentine. That was staged in the mine. And it's just neat to see it, you know, staged here. Also, the hag mask is pretty wicked, you know. When you see it, it doesn't do much. But when you see, like I just mentioned, that skating scene where a figure is wearing that coming at you with a sickle, it just adds that extra layer of fear. Definitely look up curtains. You know, it is, like I said, an underrated horror gem. I liked it, even though it was a slow burn deal. Samantha Sherwood, who plays... Oh, I forget her name. I'm sorry. Samantha Sherwood, who is played by Samantha Egger, who does play the lead actress in this, is very good. Brooke Parsons, played by Linda Thorson, she's awesome. In fact, everybody that was in this movie is pretty cool. The only thing is, I've never heard of them. They all have their personalities, and they all bring a different character trait to the movie, which is another thing I like. And like I said, John Vernon as the aggressive director, you know, most people know him as Dean Warmer from Animal House. You know, he's been on that. You get to see him in a different, more serious role, which is pretty interesting to check out. But all in all, check Curtains out. It is a definitely a good horror flick for anyone who likes a slow burn deal. It also is a very good mystery thriller in which, you know, like I say, you're playing the guessing game on who the killer is. The kills are pretty well done. There's some stabbings. There's some sickle throat slitting, you know, and some other stuff. But definitely a cool movie. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to ruin the surprise. But I'm telling you, it is underrated. It's a, you know, it's it's everything you'd probably want in a horror film, but it's only a slow burn deal, guys. So definitely check Curtains out. Made in 1983, and you can buy the Blu-ray from Synapse Pictures.